all right hello to anyone who might be viewing this video today we're going to show you how to keep your computer from shutting off while playing counter-strike um, so without going into too much detail pretty much what's happening is your computer is overheating because i've noticed when i don't have my cooling pad plugged in this problem happens a lot more so it's actually really simple to fix all you got to do is go down here to your battery settings i don't have my battery in right now it's sitting here over here but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you have your battery in or not so as you can see, we have all these power options. We have the recommended one, which is pretty much one that I've changed so I can play Counter-Strike on. This one has a CPU maxed out at 100% all the time, no matter what it's doing. Same with high performance and power saver. Of course, it does whatever it does. So I suggest you can either make a new plan if you would like. There's, I, I don't really know where it is, but there's somewhere you can make a new plan. And so pretty much make one and you can change the settings to whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the changing the settings. We're going to go change advanced power settings. And you can select which one you want to change from here. We're going to change the recommended one. So what's happening is your actual CPU is overheating. So what you want to do is clock it down. So we want to go to processor power management, maximum processor state. And as you can see here, I've set it to 75% when I'm plugged in. Plugged in meaning I'm plugged into power. So it's set at 75%. You can put it up at 80, but you're gonna have to have a cooling pad under your laptop to uh, keep it from overheating, of course. So that's really it. You can set it up to 80. I just have it at 75 for good measure because it can still happen at 80. However, if you have the problem a lot, it's not gonna happen as much. So if that's all you needed to know, you don't wanna know anything else, you can leave now, but I'm gonna go into some greater detail here. So at th I'm gonna open up Steam real quick and we're gonna see what the settings, hold up. We're going to look at Counter-Strike Global Offensive real quick. We're going to go to the store page and look at the minimum CPU requirements. You probably hear my computer ramping up right now. Um, minimum, it doesn't say. All right, we're going to go to a website that will tell us. We want to find out what the minimum processor speed is to run Counter-Strike. So we'll go to a website. I'm just going to Google will it run. That's a website that will bring up uh, it'll bring up uh, pretty much all the requirements you need to run a game. Will it run? There you go. Computer is actually running really slow. It's probably because I'm recording. So here it is. Systemrequirementslab.com We're going to find Counter-Strike. We're going to look at it from there once it pulls up. So we want to find out what the minimum, it's right here actually, so we're just going to click on here. Of course I meet minimum, there is no recommended setting really. So let's go down to processor, I have 2.5 gigahertz. I believe this game only requires 1.1, so it's not saying. So who knows what it requires. Uh, but I believe it's 1.1, so that's that. So 2.5 gigahertz is my computer speed. So when we look at these, uh, power, these battery settings, it's gonna be running at 75% of this battery, of this uh, 2.5 gigahertz. I don't know the exact, cause I'm not gonna do the math, cause I don't feel like it. But so that's really it. Make sure it stays above 1.1. Now here's the thing, I've noticed that there's a bit of FPS. Uh, there aren't as many frames, so I don't get as many FPS. Uh, when I have the, the the processor state set down like this. I'm usually getting, uh, I get fine FPS when I'm not, uh, any time when I'm actually playing, but then once I go into smoke or something like that, or I get flash banged, or when I pull up the menu, I'm gonna get lower FPS. But that's fine because I would rather have lower FPS than get banned for, <laughs> for having my computer shut off. Uh, now, if you're not sure that this is your problem, pretty much what'll happen is the screen will just shut off just the screen the whole computer will stay on you'll still hear the fan uh, if you have a backlit keyboard on like I usually do the backlit keyboard will still stay on um, pretty much everything is still on except for the screen the screen just shuts off and it also logs you off the game because I've checked on my phone once this happens and I did the computer closes out everything it just stops working everything stops except for components for some reason I don't really know why but it's a weird issue it's I'm pretty sure it's cooling and so that's it. Just set down your state, your processor state, to 75%. So there you go. Easy fix. And that's it.